this next one so crucial and so many people i know didn't bring one of these and then needed it and like didn't have it Hey everybody, it is me Yasmin and welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new here, I make lifestyle and college related videos. I know it's getting to be that time when people are getting excited to go back to campus or to campus for the first time and you're trying to like conjure ideas of things you need to get for your dorm room. I just finished my first year at the University of Waterloo and I lived in a dorm. I'm just gonna let you guys know what my essentials were while living on campus and what I think you guys should buy for your dorm rooms to make living there awesome. I have a list and I divided it into different sections. I have comfort, organization, storage, cosmetics, decor, kitchen, and then other. Hopefully I don't forget anything. So the first section is comfort. And the first thing that I think you guys should buy is a mattress topper, I think it's called. It's, it's like something you put on top of your mattress to make it extra comfortable. Cause I know a lot of schools, the mattresses that they provide you aren't top notch, aren't super comfortable. So the mattress topper definitely made my bed more comfortable. The second thing I have for comfort, pillow chair type of thing. Your dorm room isn't that big typically. So when you're in your room, majority of the time you either spend working at your desk or in your bed. And sometimes when I didn't feel like sitting at my desk and doing work, I wanted to do work in my bed. So I had this pillow chair, which made my bed more comfortable and easy to like sit up in and do work. But the next thing I say for comfort is to get extra sheets. You're gonna be doing laundry, obviously, and you wanna wash your sheets. I definitely recommend you bring an extra pair so like when once in the wash you always have like a clean set of sheets to go on your bed and I also think you should bring extra blankets for example I have this one right here on my chair actually I had this one in my dorm just like a throw blanket when I was working at my desk I could bring a blanket or even like if I wanted to go out and work somewhere else I could bring a blanket with me to be more cozy and yeah you definitely don't know like who might need a blanket if you have guests over it's really nice to have extra blankets in your dorm. So that's all I have for comfort. If you think I missed anything and you went to university, make sure you comment down below things that you think I missed so other people can read through comments and get more ideas of things to buy. So next I'm gonna be talking about essentials for organization in your dorm. The first thing I have is a giant calendar. I actually show this in my dorm room tour that I did a few months ago. So I'll have that in the iCards up here so you guys can go watch my dorm room tour. But basically I just had this really big calendar on my wall, which is a two month calendar so I can write all my due dates on it. And that really helped me um, organize my time and I could just easily like look up at my wall to see when I had to finish different assignments. I recommend you buy skip sticky notes but not as for school, like obviously you use them for school, but I also use sticky notes as decor slash reminders in my room. So like, for example, if I had to like print an assignment, I'd write on my sticky note, like print assignment and like I'd put it somewhere in my room where I remembered. Like, for example, I would put it on my door. So like every single time I went to leave my room, I would see on my door, it said to like print this. I could always see that I need to do certain tasks, if that makes any sense, so. Another thing for organization, I guess this is also kind of overlapping with cleaning, is to have a small dustpan or vacuum depending if your room is hardwood or carpet. My room was hardwood and the dust collected super quickly. I don't know why the dust collected so quickly in my room, but I had a really small dustpan. Like I dusted my room every week because there was so much dust and garbage and crap on my floor. So like I definitely recommend you get something to clean your floors with because they get really dirty really fast. Another thing I'd recommend you buy are cleaning essentials. By this, I mean window cleaner, cleaning wipes, all the things you need to clean a room your room's gonna get dirty you're gonna need to clean your room often and if you don't have the cleaning essentials your room's gonna get really gross and then the last thing i have on organization is garbage bags my dorm room came with a garbage bin but if your room doesn't come with a garbage bin get a garbage bin but they gave me one garbage bag when i moved in but after i finished that i needed more garbage bags so it's really helpful to have like a thing of garbage bags. Also Ziploc bags really come in handy as well. Next, we are moving on to the category of storage. Um, I definitely recommend if you go on your school website, they might have like details about what your room comes with. Um, 
storage wise you might need to get more storage i definitely need to get more storage i'm gonna insert pictures of like what i used for storage because i don't know really what they're called those big things with drawers with the wheels on the bottom those are really helpful for storage um also i had big bins that i used for under the bed a lot of dorm rooms their beds are kind of high so my bed had room for storage underneath so i brought big bins to keep like clothes in stuff like that and also for storage i recommend you bring a shoe rack i don't know about you but i brought like more than one pair of shoes and i had like a nice rack for them to sit on just so they can stay out of the way and organize you might also like get to your dorm room and realize you need more storage that's what happened to me when i got to my dorm i realized i needed another one so i went to walmart and got another one but yeah next i'm gonna talk about cosmetics first thing is shower shoes if you're gonna be using a communal bathroom there's gonna be multiple people sharing the same showers and it's kind of gross if you go in there with your bare feet because you don't know who's been stepping in that shower so i definitely recommend you get shower shoes mine were just like some simple flip-flops the next thing i have for cosmetics is to get a bathrobe at least for me i had to like walk in the hallway to get to the communal shower i had a bathrobe to wear while i was walking back and forth so i'm not walking there naked hello the next thing for cosmetics is a shower caddy basically something that you can just easily bring back and forth with you to the bathroom that has all your bathroom essentials in it so you don't have to carry everything one by one because you don't have that many hands so the next thing i have under cosmetics is towels i recommend you get more than one funny story when i first moved into my dorm i forgot to pack towels all together so i ended up having to buy one at the campus store and then like when my mom came to visit me she brought my towel from home that I forgot and it was really beneficial to have two towels because again when you're washing one the other one will always be clean and you always just have a clean towel ready and then the last thing I have under cosmetics is washcloths like the little mini towels because these are really useful to have in your dorm because you never know when you're going to need like a little towel for like washing your face washing dishes side note my cousin just told me that I inspired her to watch Hamilton and now she likes it and like I'm obsessed with Hamilton so I've watched it every day for the past week. I can't help it, it's so good. Now we're moving on to the decor section. I'm gonna tell you guys some things to spice up your room, make it look a little bit more pretty because the rooms they give you are bland. First, I definitely recommend you get some fake plants. I had an aloe plant and that almost died. It didn't die, but don't get high maintenance plants because you're gonna be busy with school and the last thing you're gonna have on your mind is, oh, I need to go water my plants. No, so fake plants are definitely the move unless you're like really responsible with plants, but Ikea has really nice fake plants, Amazon on wherever actually don't shop at amazon because jeff Be bezos is a loser i recommend you get posters um i know you can find a lot of cheap posters online you can like make your room your own and like make you feel at home while wow, that rhymes so i recommend you print pictures what i did is i just like got a whole bunch of pictures of my friends my family and printed them at walmart for cheap then i can like see my friends and family from home on my wall also another thing i got from my dorm decor wise was a cork board i put up a lot of memories on there you can easily just like pin them on definitely bring some sticky tack to hang up all these things because you're gonna have all these pictures and posters how are you gonna hang them up sticky tack and i also got some sticky hooks i put them on my wall to hang up like my purses and stuff be careful with these though because i kind of took off the paint in some areas of my room next we're going to be talking about kitchen supplies get some mugs mugs are very versatile you can use them for soup you can use them for hot drink coffee whatever you can use them for juice and this makes it easier than bringing like mugs and then cups i just brought mugs and used them for all beverages also bring some cutlery some reusable cutlery don't bring like the plastic spoons and forks because that hurts the environment you don't need to bring like a giant set just like maybe two forks two knives two spoons i didn't bring any plates or anything i just brought like a few bowls and some a few like reusable like containers like tupperware for kitchen i also recommend you bring like a kettle or coffee maker this saves a lot of money it saves a lot of time in the mornings instead of having to go wait in the long starbucks line you can just make your coffee and your tea and whatever in your dorm room you can bring snacks this is something i didn't really bring at the beginning and i had to go to walmart and buy a bunch of snacks because like there'll be times in the middle of the night that you get hungry and the cafeteria is closed and instead of spending money on uber eats if you have snacks in your dorm room you're all set you don't have to spend money bring some reusable straws i actually kept a few in my bag 
empty food in my room. And then the last section that I'm going to talk about is miscellaneous other just things that I think are helpful for your dorm room. So the first thing I have is a laptop desk. I personally don't have one, but I'm definitely going to buy one for when I start school back up in the fall, especially since it's going to be online. Um, like I said before, when you're in your room, you're either sitting at your desk or sitting on your bed. So I think a laptop desk would be really nice so I can, like, instead of having my laptop on my lap, to put it on a little surface so it doesn't overheat. The second thing I have in other is a travel or duffel bag. There's times when you travel home, you travel to visit friends, and it's really helpful if you have, like, a duffel bag with you so you can like bring clothes and pack stuff so it's easy to bring all your stuff home or wherever you're traveling another thing that you should bring check to see if your dorm room has one because i bought one of these and then i got there and they had one anyways but a big full length mirror um i know you can get like over the dorm room mirror so you can see your outfits and it's just something that i think is an essential this next one so crucial and so many people I know didn't bring one of these and then needed it and like didn't have it. Bring an umbrella. It's gonna rain and you're gonna have to go to class and like campus is big and you have to walk far. And if you don't have an umbrella, you're just gonna get soaked. Yeah, definitely bring an umbrella and like just be prepared for weather. Bring winter boots, bring, your, bring a rain jacket, bring all those things. Another thing that you should bring is a power strip or extension cord. You don't know where the outlets in your room are gonna be and it's really important to have like a power bar or extension cord so you can plug in all your electronics. Bring a little health kit. I had Advil, band-aids, everything you basically need in case of a health emer not emergency because I don't want to say this is an emergency. Like I remember my friend got a little cut and she like texted me she's like do you have any band-aids because no one had band-aids like and I did because I had my health kit on deck. The second last thing I have on my list is a printer. This is quite an investment, but I think a printer is good to have because you're going to need it. Like if you buy one now, you're going to need it down the road anyways. I had a printer in my room and it was really helpful for last minute times when I need to print an assignment so I didn't have to walk to campus to like where they have the printing centers and so I didn't have to pay for printing because like almost everywhere you have to pay to get things printed and with a printer I also think you should get a stapler because a lot of professors like it when you hand in assignments that are stapled and if you don't have a stapler like sometimes you'll I know a lot of instances when like teachers were collecting assignments and like kids showed up with all their things stapled and the teacher didn't have a stapler so then they were scrambling to find like a stapler in the classroom so if you have one in your dorm you can print your assignments in your dorm and staple them right there and then the last and final thing i think you should get for university is a laptop case university is basically just you sitting with a laptop open in different locations all day i was just i would just walk to different locations open my laptop close it, walk to a different location, open my laptop, close it. Like I just brought my laptop everywhere and you're always working on something. So you obviously don't want your laptop to get ruined. If you have a laptop case that protects it from all of the elements of the world, <laughs> that concludes this video. Let me know any other videos you wanna see, college related or lifestyle related or anything. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that like button down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace out.